Airplanes are one of humanity's most remarkable achievements, allowing us to traverse vast distances through the sky in a matter of hours. Despite their size and weight, airplanes defy gravity, soaring thousands of feet above the ground with precision and control. This incredible feat often leaves people wondering, how do airplanes fly? The flight of an airplane is made possible by the delicate balance of four fundamental forces, lift, thrust, drag, and weight. These forces interact to allow an airplane to take off, stay in the air, maneuver, and land. Understanding these forces is key to grasping how airplanes achieve flight. 1. Lift. Defying gravity. Definition. Lift is the upward force that counteracts the airplane's weight and allows it to rise into the air. Wings are designed with a specific shape, called an airfoil, that generates lift. As air flows over the curved top surface of the wing, it moves faster, creating lower pressure. The slower moving air under the wing creates higher pressure, pushing the airplane upward. This is explained by Bernoulli's principle. The angle of attack, or the angle at which the wing meets the oncoming air, also influences lift. Key factor. The faster the airplane moves, the more lift is generated. 2. Thrust powering forward. Definition. Thrust is the forward force that propels the airplane through the air, generated by the airplane's engines, either jet engines or propellers. Jet engines push air backward, creating an equal and opposite force, thrust, that propels the airplane forward. Propellers work by pulling air over the wings to create forward motion. Key factor, the amount of thrust must overcome drag for the airplane to move forward. 3. Drag, the force of resistance, definition. Drag is the backward force that resists the airplane's motion through the air, caused by air resistance against the surface of the airplane. Factors affecting drag include the airplane's shape, speed, and air density. Key factor, engineers design airplanes to minimize drag while maintaining structural integrity. 4. Weight, the pull of gravity. Definition, weight is the downward force caused by gravity acting on the airplane's mass. The airplane's total weight includes its structure, fuel, passengers, and cargo. Lift must equal or exceed weight for the airplane to ascend. Key factor, pilots must monitor the airplane's weight distribution to ensure balance and stability. Takeoff, thrust increases to overcome drag, and lift is generated to overcome weight. Flight, a balance between lift, weight, thrust, and drag keeps the airplane in stable flight. Landing, thrust decreases, drag increases, and weight helps bring the airplane down safely. These four forces work in harmony, and their precise management by pilots and engineers ensures a smooth and controlled flight. Understanding their interplay is the foundation of aviation science. The anatomy of an airplane is a carefully engineered combination of components designed to work together to achieve and sustain flight. Each part plays a unique role in overcoming the forces of gravity and drag while maintaining control and stability. One wings, airfoil design. Function, generate lift by manipulating airflow. Wings are shaped like airfoils with a curved top surface and a flatter bottom surface to create pressure differences. Equipped with flaps and slats, flaps increase the wing area and lift during takeoff and landing. Slats help maintain lift at lower speeds. Variations. Wing shapes and sizes vary depending on the type of aircraft. 2. Fuselage function, the main body of the airplane that houses passengers, cargo, and key systems. Aerodynamic shape to reduce drag, includes seating, cockpit, fuel storage, and electrical systems. Structural role, connects all other components, such as wings, tail, and landing gear. 3. Tail empennage function, provides stability and control. Horizontal stabilizer, prevents unwanted up and down motion of the nose. Vertical stabilizer, keeps the airplane steady in the yaw direction. Rudder, controls yaw for directional changes. Elevators, control the airplane's pitch. Four, engines function, provide thrust to propel the airplane forward. Jet engines, use high-speed exhaust to generate thrust. Propellers, create thrust by pulling or pushing air over the wings. Mounted on the wings, fuselage, or tail, depending on the design. Five, landing gear function, support the airplane during takeoff, landing, and taxiing. Retractable gear, folds into the airplane to reduce drag during flight. Fixed gear, simpler design, used in smaller aircraft. Components, wheels, struts, and braking systems. Six, cockpit function, the control center of the airplane, houses flight instruments and controls, equipped with systems for navigation, communication, and monitoring. Seven, flaps, ailerons, and spoilers. 
flaps, increase lift or drag as needed during takeoff, landing, or slower speeds. Ailerons, located at the outer edges of the wings. Control roll. Spoilers, located on the upper surface of the wings. Reduce lift and increase drag to help slow the airplane. Eight, fuel system function. Stores and supplies fuel to the engines. Tanks are usually integrated into the wings to save space and balance weight. Nine, flight control surfaces, primary controls. Elevators adjust pitch, rudder adjusts yaw, ailerons adjust roll. Secondary controls, flaps and slats modify lift and drag. Trim tabs fine-tune control forces to maintain stable flight. Wings generate lift. Engines provide thrust. The fuselage houses essential systems and passengers. The tail ensures stability and directional control. Flight control surfaces enable maneuverability. All parts are designed to optimize efficiency and safety in varying flight conditions. Aerodynamics is the study of how air interacts with solid objects in motion, such as airplanes. These principles are fundamental in understanding how an airplane achieves lift, manages drag, and maintains stability during flight. The 1. Airflow in the Wing – Airfoil Design Airfoil – The cross-sectional shape of an airplane wing is critical to generating lift. The curved top surface causes air to move faster, reducing pressure above the wing. The flatter bottom surface maintains slower-moving air creating higher pressure below. This pressure difference generates an upward force known as lift. Angle of attack. The angle between the wing's cord line and the oncoming airflow. Increasing the angle of attack boosts lift up to a point, but excessive angles can cause a stall. Two, Bernoulli's principle states that as the speed of a fluid increases, its pressure decreases. As air moves faster over the curved upper wing surface, the pressure decreases compared to the slower moving air below. This pressure difference is a primary mechanism for creating lift. 3. Newton's Third Law of Motion Action and Reaction For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Airplane wings deflect air downward, generating an upward lift force. Jet engines push air backward to create forward thrust. 4. Lift to Drag Ratio Lift, the upward force that opposes gravity. Drag, the resistance force caused by air opposing the airplane's motion. The lift-to-drag ratio is a measure of aerodynamic efficiency. Higher ratios mean less energy is needed to sustain flight. Optimize through wing shape, size, and smooth surfaces. 5. Drag and its types. Drag is the resistance force encountered as the airplane moves through the air. Types of drag. Parasite drag is caused by the shape of the airplane and friction with the air. Induced drag results from the production of lift. Engineers design streamlined shapes to minimize drag while maximizing lift. Number 6. Stability and Control Center of Lift and Center of Gravity The center of lift must be balanced with the airplane's center of gravity for stable flight. Dihedral wings, upward-angled wings that enhance stability by naturally correcting rolling motions. Control surfaces, ailerons control roll, elevators control pitch, rudder controls yaw. 7. The Boundary Layer Definition A thin layer of air that clings to the surface of the airplane as it moves. Laminar Flow versus Turbulent Flow Laminar flow is smooth airflow with minimal drag. Engineers design surfaces and shapes to maintain laminar flow for efficiency. 8. Speed and Mach Number Airplane performance changes significantly with speed. Subsonic flight is below Mach 1. Supersonic flight is above Mach 1. Wing shapes and designs differ for subsonic and supersonic speeds. 9. Streamlining for efficiency. Airplanes are designed with smooth, tapered bodies to minimize drag. Winglets reduce vortex-induced drag, improving fuel efficiency.